Columbia University Division of Nephrology is one of the top academic units at Columbia University. It, it has a national and international reputation for its excellence in clinical care, research, and education. We serve a very ethnically and socioeconomically diverse population. We also take care of a large number of patients who come to see us from all over the world so we can help them with their kidney problems. Our mission is to collaborate and use multidisciplinary care and research to improve the health of patients with kidney disease. Uh, we do this by doing uh, multidisciplinary science in genetics, in immunology, in physiology, in biochemistry, in data sciences, informatics, bringing together all this expertise to bring to bear to solve problems. Why do patients develop kidney disease? How do we predict what will happen to them? How do we come up with best treatments uh, for our patients? I've been in nephrology for over 28 years here at Columbia and I've seen a dramatic change in the way we provide care to our patients. So first of all, we've grown as a division. We've expanded services. We've really gone into niches like kidney transplant, the glomerular center. We've gone into hypertension, a stone clinic. We have expanded our chronic kidney disease uh, services. So there's been a lot of sub-sub-specialized care to take part to take care of every aspect of the most complicated patient with kidney diseases. I'm very excited about what we do at the glomerular center that uh, we've been doing it for a long time but it's more exciting now because we're finding all of these biomarkers, genetic studies that show what the pathophysiology of the disease is. We're learning where we can help the patients in ways that we never could before. I never dreamed of this back 25-30 years ago. Some of the major achievements in our kidney transplant program here at uh, Columbia University Medical Center uh, involve uh, analyzing how kidneys are used in this country uh, and how they could be better used. Uh, and our researchers had an impact on the use of kidneys and the uh, allocation system uh, in the country. We have also done research on the use of uh, compatible pairs, live donor pairs, in paired kidney exchange, which enables more people to be transplanted. We have a program in the transition from pediatric transplant to adult transplant, and we work closely with our genetics team in terms of the genetics of transplantation and rejection. The problem with acute kidney injury is that we don't have very good markers of it, so it's extremely hard to diagnose early in the course of the disease. So our mission in our lab is to understand how the kidney grows and develops and how it repairs itself after damage so we can begin to understand exactly what's happening with acute kidney injury and make better diagnostic tools. We work simultaneously at the bench and simultaneously in emergency rooms in different parts of the world. So we're bringing bench science and complex genetic models uh, directly to patient care. Congenital abnormalities of the kidney and urinary tract are the number one cause of pediatric renal failure worldwide. We're trying to study new mechanisms um, and new programs during development that uh, instruct how the kidney develops. Here at Columbia, we've got precision medicine initiatives that are um, really paramount to how we will be treating patients in the future and hopefully coming, uh, coming about uh, personalized strategies for managing patients with kidney disease and uh, transplantation. A cornerstone of precision medicine right now is genetics and genomics. Uh, about a quarter of patients with kidney failure will tell you that they have a family member who is also affected. And so every patient who comes to Columbia University has the option to enroll in a protocol and we're able to sequence their genome and we provide the service for free because we want to understand how we can apply genetics to the care of these patients. The main mission of uh, my research uh, program is to investigate the genetic basis of kidney disease by applying novel large-scale genomic uh, approaches in order to identify the genes that when mutated they cause kidney urinary tract malformations or glomerulonephritis. And by doing so, we are, we are also able to uh, predict uh, chi, uh, 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 which individual might develop end-stage renal disease later in life or extra-renal uh, complications. I think single cell um, uh, technology is, um, has developed recently and it represents an extremely exciting tool to address the molecular mechanisms of kidney injury. Uh, kidney tissue is a highly heterogeneous 
uh, tissue with multiple cell types and to date we really didn't have good ways to profile and interrogate individual cell types. So with single cell technology we hope that we'll be able to address the mechanism of acute kidney injury and potentially other uh, disease processes affecting the kidney. The future of nephrology I think is very bright because there are a very large number of advances happening, especially in genetics and in, in new treatments for old diseases. But at the same time, I think that one of the more exciting areas is kind of definition of new diseases that are coming because of modern methods of analysis, modern testing we can uh, identify new subgroups of people and this would be very important for treatment of, uh, eventually for treatment of these diseases. I think just for me, the exciting thing about working here is that when you think of the three pillars of academic medicine, it's education, research, and clinical care. And in our division, we have people who are excelling in all of these fields. And in addition to that, we have an incredibly collaborative environment. So I think it ends up being the kind of environment where we're able to give world-class care for our patients. Every organ is intensely complicated. The kidney has 21 cell types, and they haven't been explored in terms of acute kidney injury or urinary tract infections. And by simply opening our minds and seeing what's so obvious in front of us, we, we make discoveries. And, and the people who I've worked with just come up with extraordinary things on a daily basis.